Enter. Squeeze me, please, lady. Yes, what is it? I'm coming here for to be learning the English. Your Alice. Oh, no, I'm Ali. I beg your pardon. My name is Ali, Ali Nadim. I'm coming here for to be learning the English. Ah, yes, yes. You wish to join our new class, English as a foreign language. Yes, please. And I'm hopping to be unrolled. <laughs> hopping to be unrolled? Like it say in your syllabus. <laughs> you mean hoping to be enrolled. That is what I said. Hopping to be unrolled. <laughs> yes, well, I'm afraid you cannot be unrolled. Uh, enrolled until the English teacher arrives. Now, she should be here in a few minutes. In the meanwhile, perhaps you would care to wait in the classroom. Go down the corridor, turn left at the bottom, and wait in room five. Understand? No. <laughs> well, let's start again. You go down the corridor. Down corridor. <laughs> Good. Turn left. Turn left. Right. right. <laughs> but you are confusing me. Left or right? It's le left. Look, you just go down the corridor, turn left, and wait in room five. Room five. Ah, now I'm understanding you. Room five. Yes. Jolly good, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, dearie me, I'm not going where I'm looking. No, no, I wasn't looking where I was going. That made the two of us. Excuse me, sorry. Enter. Mrs. Courtney. Miss. Oh, sorry. I'm your new teacher, Jeremy Brown, B.A. Oxon. You're a man. Yes. Well, this is most unsatisfactory. This won't do at all. Well, I assure you my credentials are impeccable. Academically, perhaps. I'm talking about sex. Oh, I also assure you my morals are perfectly respectable, too. I'm referring to the fact that you are a man. I distinctly requested the local authority to send me a woman teacher, especially in view of what happened with Mr. Warburton. Mr. Warburton? Yes. He was teaching English to foreign students last term. I'm afraid he only lasted a month. Then he departed. Dead? Demented. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the strain was too much for him. Typical of the male sex, no stamina. <laughs> Always seemed to be able to cope at first, and then one day he just snapped. It was really quite disgusting. Really? What did he do? Climbed out of the classroom window onto the roof, took off all his clothes, and stood there stark naked, singing, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Very distressing. Well, there's no need to worry on my account. I mean, I'm not likely to climb out of the classroom window. I know you aren't. Oh, thank you for your confidence. It has nothing to do with confidence. We've had the window frames nailed down. <laughs> Oh, very thoughtful. Well, I really would appreciate the job, Mrs. Courtney. Miss. Miss Courtney. I am qualified, and I rather do need a job, what with the economic situation and inflation. All right, there's no need to whimper. You can start immediately. Thank you. On a month's trial. Thank you. If you last that long. <laughs> I'll do my best. Now, uh, where will I find my students? Class five, down the corridor and turn left. Right. I'm looking forward to meeting them. I'm sure we're all going to get along extremely well. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Well, I'm pleased to meet you all. We are also pleased to be meeting you. Oh. I am Brown. Oh, no. <laughs> you are committing a mistake. A mistake? Yes, please. You are not brown. We are brown. You are white. Uh, my name is Brown. I am your teacher. Ah, you yes. professori. Yes. Well, I am speaking to students. Quiet, please. Charlie. Thank you. Right, uh, would you all like to sit down? Sit down. I ah, so <laughs> Just uh, take a note of all your names, nationalities, and occupations. Right? Por favor, señor. Yes? Es la primera vez que vengo. 
Es esta la clase para aprender inglés. Well, I have the faintest idea what you're saying, but I'm sure you're not trying to find the needlework, Clark. Por favor. It doesn't matter. Have a seat. Por favor. Sit down. Ah, sí. <laughs> No, not there. Por favor. There. Ah, yeah. Right, I'll just go around the class and uh, take your names. Yes? Ah, oh, yes. What is your name? Maximilian Andrea Archimedes Papandrei. Uh, I think I'll just put you down as Max. Uh, take it, you're Greek? He is right, from Athens. Good. And what is your job? Uh, I walk with sheep. <laughs> you walk with sheep. You're a shepherd, you work on a farm. Uh, no, no, not farm. But you just said you work with sheep. No, 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 no. Sheeps. Big sheeps. <laughs> sheeps. Yes, sheeps. Tonkers. <laughs> Tonkers. Right. Oh, yes. I walk in office. Good. Thank you. And your name? Anna Schmidt, German au pair. Ah. <laughs> Usual German efficiency? Germans are always efficient. Not her. Uh, so. <laughs> Japanese, much more efficient. Nine Germans are the best. Japanese make a much better television. And do? Camelos. <laughs> no, no, please, let us have no racialism. In this class, all are equal. Your name? Giovanni Cupello. Italian. Hmm? Where do you work? I work in Ristorante dei Popoli. A waiter? No, not a waiter. A cucuta. <laughs> See, a cucuta ravioli, a cucuta spaghetti, a cucuta lasagna, a cucuta everything. A chef. Okay. And your name? Andy? What is your name? Gaga. Uh, me, Jeremy Brown. You. Patanji Gagayo. Max, Anna Schmidt, Giovanni Cupello. You. Oh, I'm not sure. 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 Yes, yes, write your name down. Good, good. No good. I need your name in English. No Urdu? No Urdu. Hai, to main yahan kaay ke liye angrezi aati hu to main sikhne aati angrezi koi. Aapko kya chahiye? Ab mujhe pata nahi kahan se laun main pata nahi kya chahiye aapko. Dekho ji, sahi likha hua hoga angrezi to pata nahi dekhu. Ye to nahi kahin kagaz jo aapko chahiye. Ah, certificate of registration. Jamila Ranja housewife. Thank you. Good. And your name? I am Ali Nadim. From Lahore. I'm working at the moment, not anywhere at all. You're unemployed? Yes, please. <laughs> Only one day a week I'm working. Uh, what do you do then? I'm going to the unemployment exchange <laughs> for to be collecting my money. Who <laughs> blame me? I get more money for not being working than when I'm working. Yes, but before you discovered this secret of eternal wealth, what did you do? Blimey, I worked. Yes. At the Taj Mahal. In Delhi? Oh, no, Patini. Taj Mahal can be the restaurants. Jali good chapati and papadam. A thousand apologies for my lateness. The omnibus was going backwards. <laughs> I'm sure there must be a more logical explanation. It is the absolute truth. I was told to be taken.